Hello! In today's episode, we're going to take a look at Rails 5. More specifically, we're going to build a blog application to help us write about our hopes and dreams. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to create a new Rails application. We'll call it create, sorry, we'll call it Rails New Blog. Okay, from there we can see Rails have created, has created the files and directories for us. Uh, next step would be to run the Rails server to see everything is running correctly. Let's go to localhost 3000 to see that's up and running. Yay! You're on Rails. That's a cute illustration. Okay, from here, what we want to do is think about what we need for our blog. So we're going to need to write post. And to help us out, Rails has a scaffold generator. It'll do a lot of things for us. So we'll generate a post scaffold which will have a name be a string and body which will be a text great let's edit that for us now if you take a look quickly it's created a lot of files in relation to the post it's created us model views, style sheets, JavaScript, and a controller, as well as an actual migration for a database, which will create the table, create the columns, rows for us. So how do we go about getting this onto our database? Rails is quite simple. All you have to do is run Rails DB migrate. And that's that. Now, if you take a look our, at our app again, now it's created a routes for us in post. Add a new post. Hello world. Right. Post is successful. Hello world. Great. There we go, there's a blog app right there. Show it again, and go back, and destroy it. It's gone. It's amazing. Hello world again. I have arrived again. Go back. Fantastic. Done. Okay, say we want categories. It's easy too. What we'll do is generate a model category. The category model would have a name, it'll be a string. Nice and simple. Okay, and we need to migrate the database again. It's done. Is what we want to do now is go to the console and create some categories. Name, life, music, food. Category count, oops, category count. We have three there. Excellent. Okay, let's quit that. Okay, now to attach it to our post, look at this. let's look at the schema quickly. Okay, 
Now, if we want the categories to be attached to the post or a post attached to the categories, um, we create create a, a relationship. So first, what we want to do is create another migration, add category ref to post, and then it'll be category reference. Okay, now in that migration that we just created, let's get that. So it's going to add a reference to post category and also do the foreign keys. So now what we have to do is migrate database again. Fantastic. Now let's create the relationship. So post uh, belongs to category. Now if we look at the category model, let's say has many posts. So in our form, we can add another field here. Category. And it's going to be a collection. So we collection select. Now we need to collection that takes uh, arguments. So it's got the object in the form. We need the method, which is the category ID. Um, we need the collection itself, category, the value method, and the name categories. Okay, so let's look at our post again. Just destroy this one. Create a new one. New post. Look at that. Our categories. Okay, so let's create a new post. I love tacos. are delicious post. Okay, so the thing with the scaffold is we've got some errors here. Category must exist. Now let's take a look at what's happening here. So with Rails we've got some security features. So if you look at the post controller. something here called post params. We have to make sure we add it to here. Category ID. Now let's try again. Great. Now let's go back. So we've added the post I love tacos and selected an actual category but it's not coming up here. So what we'll need to do is go to our index view and add into our table. So category. So here it's category dot name. And what we'll also do is we'll look at our show page and we'll put it here also. So we'll do um, some paragraphs tags say category and post category name. So we press that. Guess what? Great. I've actually put in the wrong category. Let's edit it. it should be in food. I'll get post. Look at that. It's in that category now. I'll just add one more post. Um, Cream is the greatest band on the planet. Great post. Great. Um, make sure we put in the right category. It's music. 
and there we have it. Now, what we could also do is at the moment it's going into to view this, you have to go to post, whereas the root URL is actually going to this placeholder page. Um, we can easily change that by going to routes, and in routes, we just need to add a root line, and we want, um, I guess, post, and then the index. You get that right. So if we refresh that, every time we go to the main site, we get the index. And that's Rails 5 and how to create a simple blog app. Hope you enjoyed that. See you soon.